body baby yo ah his body baby yo yeah yeah it's a bad man thing yeah yeah hey guys thanks for tuning into my channel it's your girl roxy so i'm going to be getting ready so i want you guys to get ready with me i'm going to be doing my makeup and your girl needs a haircut and i need a relaxer so I won't be styling my short hair today, I'll be reviving one of my U-part wigs. So if you want to see how I get things done, stay tuned. Alright, so I'm going to start off by priming my face with MAC's Prep and Prime. My face is already washed and moisturized. I use um, Neutrogena's SPF moisturizer. It's the only one I have right now, even though it's not. Summer, I still use an SPF. For those of you who are mentioning that uh, I have great skin, this new lens that I'm using right now is definitely picking up all of my imperfections. So I did break out a lot after my pregnancy. I had a huge breakout, so it left me with a lot of acne scars. So this is what I'm dealing with. So now I'm gonna be using my foundation. And the foundation that I'm using is Maybelline 24 hour foundation in the color 360 mocha I'm just going to pump some on my face and then I'm going to use my foundation brush to blend it in this foundation is definitely full coverage I would say because it covers up all of my scars and my dark spots really well with only one say one coat okay now i'm gonna go in with my concealer for my concealer i like to use max pro Longwear, and this is in the shade nc 45. and this is almost done oh my god I need to top up on my MAC products. Oh God, this is horrible. Under my eye, on both sides, forehead. I mean, everyone does their makeup like this. And I just go ahead and blend it in with a flat top brush. Guys, you know what? I completely forgot to do my eyebrows. I usually do my eyebrows first. I got so carried away. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, so I'm just going to do my eyebrows right now. How did I forget my eyebrows? Okay, so I'm going to do my eyebrows. So I'm using Annabelle. Dark, it's a dark brown pencil. Nothing too fancy. I'm gonna be using LA Pro Concealer in the shade Chestnut. It's a little bit on the dark side, but I don't like my eyebrows too, I don't know, like too concealed, so I prefer to use a darker concealer for my eyebrows. So I just put on some concealer. I'm gonna set my concealer. Today I'm gonna use Maybelline Fit Me in the color Coconut, number 355. So I'm gonna use a contour brush. I'm just gonna take a good amount here and just set under here. Thank you. 
so I have a really cheap contour kit. I got it for about three dollars at the beauty supply store. It's called Duo. It's called Duo. And I'm just gonna use it comes with two shades. I'm gonna use the darker shade in here. My cheekbones. And just blend it really well. And I'm also going to contour my nose. And just contour my nose. Okay, once that's in place, I'm just going to use the brush to blend it through. Blend, blend, blend. Morphe Dare to Create Palette. Okay, and it looks like this so it's really pretty so I honestly wanted to do some blue today so I'm gonna do some blue eyeshadow like a blue look so I know I want to do a really blue but I'm gonna be using this um, brown color here to start off and that's gonna be my transition color before I go in with my blues so I'm just gonna put it in my crease here here this navy blue it's a navy blue so I'm just going right under my first eyeshadow color and I'm just gonna try and blend it through blend it through I'm just gonna blend those two transition colors together and I got this brush from Teddy. I don't know. She, I don't know if you remember Teddy if you're watching this. Um, this is this was your Sedona Lace EB13, <laughs> and I've been using this brush like every single time. I use, every single time I do my makeup, I think it's my only blending brush. Thank you. Um, check out her YouTube channel. It's Teddy Williams. She has some great makeup tutorials. This blue, this blue shade here, this blue shimmer shade. Actually, not bad. Who says we need a concealer? Mm -mm. I'm bringing it all the way up, like on my whole lid. Does it? Who says makeup has to take 10 hours? Not me. Just to blend and to strengthen that navy blue color. That was what was giving it some depth, I think. Now I'm gonna go in with some eyeliner. I'm using NYX Epic Ink Liner. Perfect. Yeah, Falsies Volume Express Mascara. I'm just gonna put on my lashes. I'm just gonna use that navy blue shadow just to blend everything in down here. Now I'm using some Rimmel black black liner to to line my waterline.
for my blush I'm going to be using Maybelline Fit Me in the number 55. And for my bronzer, I'm going to be using um, the Rimmel London Kate Collection. Okay, so I'm going to be using um, LA Colors Shimmering Loose Eyeshadow in the color Radiant. It looks like this. And I just highlight under my brow bone. Is that what it's called? Yeah, my brow bone. And I'll just highlight in here. So just put some up here. And so I'm right here on my nose. For my lip, I'm going to be using NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the color, it's called Initiator. This is really pink. <laughs> I'm going to take my time to blend it out. This color is really nice and smooth. So I'm just gonna add some more, some more brown pencil to tone it down a bit. I'm gonna be using my MAC Mineralizing Skin Finish in the color Dark Deep. This is just to um, just set everything together and take down some of the shine on the sheen and for my setting spray I'm going to use Hard Candy's Matte Sheer Envy Mattifying Setting Spray now that my makeup is pretty much complete I am going to need to fix this hair so I'm going to get my wig this is my girl I'm gonna call her Alexis. <laughs> so this is my U, my U part wig. That is my rescue wig when my hair is just not salvageable, and I need to go. <laughs> this is um, Velvet Remy. I don't know if you guys heard about Velvet Remy. It is it's pack hair. It's not it's not um, bundle hair. It's pack hair. So I don't know if people still buy pack hair anymore, but this is um. Velvet Remy and it's in I believe it's like 22 or 24 inches. This hair has been rocking with me since forever and I made a U part wig and it has the two clips at the front and this has been my savior. So yeah this is what's going to save my butt today. I think every girl needs their savior wig even if you think you're a person that doesn't wear wigs. So I'm going to use my MC7 collection wax stick and this is just going to blend my leave out even better with the wig. Okay, and I'm going to use their edge tamer to 
lick down the sides. This can slip down like almost any hair. Any if your hair is natural, straight, it just does the job. It's it's pretty much heavy duty. Yeah, that's it, heavy duty. So that is it guys. Thank you so much for getting ready with me. If you like what you see, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, don't be afraid to leave your questions in the comment box below. That is it. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.